Good evening, sir. Do you know I asked for you, Keith? No, sir. His eyes took me up and down. He licked his lips. Wow. <laughs> hey, we're the Try Guys, and today we're gonna be reading some fan fiction that you all have written about us, and maybe, just maybe, we'll act some out. This is exciting, this is the video that I have been asking for. For years, he's yeah. been obsessed with this idea. I think it's a terrible idea. We have found that a lot of stories are written from the perspective of a 16-year-old girl. We're not gonna be reading those, so instead, we're just gonna read stories where we f each other. I Click to subscribe! So every time something sexual happens, because this is a family show. Mm. <laughs> it's a family <laughs> show. We are gonna replace the sex stuff with sandwiches. Masturbation becomes mastication. Beating the meat becomes eating the meat. And penetration <laughs> becomes pastrami. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that one got me. I've spent hours in the forums and I have narrowed it down to three salacious stories. One thing I know about fan fiction is the international movie franchise Fifty Shades of Grey was originally fan fiction based off of Twilight. That's pretty cool. I think fan fiction's fine. I just feel like you might as well be just writing spec scripts because, you know. Did you not hear what I said about time. Fifty Shades of Grey? Story one. Wherever I go, you bring me home. So this is a, a Zagine fanfic. Is it Zagine? Zagine? But I say Zagine because your name's Zach. You jack. Eugene stared blankly at Keith. Keith Habersberger was that guy at school. Normally, he would look pristine. Normally, he would be surrounded by hordes of loving people. Abnormally, he's standing, ruffled, in front of Eugene's door. Abnormally, he's carrying... <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. Abnormally, he's carrying a small body in his arms. Well, more like acting as a crutch. And the unidentified man's head tucked atop Keith's pet. <laughs> wow, is it is it gone all the way up to peck status? Yeah. I was pretty sure it was more of a moob. Can I help you? He asks, quirking a carefully plucked brow, cocking his hip out. That one we don't have to bleep, it's just to be clear. Yeah, yeah I'm not yeah, hipping yeah. my well, that one we have to believe. <laughs> yeah, everyone's getting a sandwich then. I believe this is yours. Keith jostled the man, and once the snapback clad head lolled back, Eugene let out a heavy sigh. Don't make him my problem. <sighs> Look, Zach's a good guy, and tonight, but he's not good. I mean, like, right now he's not so good. Like, tonight he draped himself all over Ryan Vergara. Just because Ryan's hair was pushed back, like... Eugene scowled, though jealousy burned through his body. Come on, man. Keith whined. This whole not eating sandwiches thing is really hard on him. You really want me to take him back to eat at my place? Eugene grabbed the smaller man quickly, taking him by the shoulders, drawing him close to his body. Now get out of my room. Laters, man. Is that the line? <laughs> That's the line. That's the line. <laughs> Stay in the scene! <laughs> Laters is also a Fifty Shades of Grey reference. Wow. Yeah, they say wow. Laters. Eugene grabbed a cup and promptly dumped the water onto Zach's face. Ah, what the hell, man? Whoa. Is that your voice in this? I yeah, I guess so. I mean, you just woke me up, but really, should I be like, what the hell, man? There it is. That's yeah, what that's it. Okay, yeah. you want to yeah. be sexy? Yeah. What the hell, man? Zach's eyes widened comically, and he had half the mind to laugh. Seeing Zach being with him, it was all too easy for Eugene. It was like falling into old habits, wanting to eat sandwiches all the time. Eugene. He groaned as he shifted into a sitting position. F***ing Keith. What are you doing here? Would you believe me if I said I was just passing by. There was a slight slur to his words. Passing by. <laughs> God, not a lisp, a slur. God damn it, Zach, you're still drunk. Eugene cursed. If I'm drunk, then you're still the prettiest man I ever saw. Zach whispered, prettiest man I ever saw. Eugene tried to ignore the thrumming race of his heart. Oh wow. Drink this, then call your roommate because you're not my problem. Oh! Denied. Wow! Denied. Wow! Don't wanna. 
Tack carelessly said, Would you want to stop marrying me when you left after I told you not to, Zack? He hissed his name out like a curse. Zack. A pain quivered through Zack's voice. Why can't we just eat sandwiches together? Like old times. I'm not sure if I'm hungry anymore. And with that, Zach was sober. Well, that's how you feel. Wow. Oh, that was wow. That was, oh, that, was, that, was that was a panini. I am invested in that story. I want to know what happens next. Do they stand a chance? I would destroy Zach in a relationship. He would be eaten alive. Oh, destroyed. Oh, Eugene's writing his own fan fiction. It's happening. You know, originally I wanted to be left completely out of all of this, and now, now you want I kind of want it. <laughs> <laughs> story two. Eugene attracts some unwanted attention south of the border, quickly turning the Try Guys vacation into a perilous struggle for survival. If blood, gore, and violence don't get you off, perhaps the cocaine explosion will! Nine chapters. Bro, I'm into this one. Well, I mean, this yeah, isn't is about sandwiches at all! So we decided to just jump right into the climax. Are you ready? Uh, yes. I feel like I should have a gruff action star voice in this. Yeah, yeah we're south of the border. Yeah. What? You know how to build a bomb? He walked over to the pile of ingredients Nit had amassed, looking them over curiously. I think I'm in love. He laughed, smiling beautifully at his green-eyed friend. <laughs> I do have green eyes. And, and Eugene smiles beautifully. That's cause science is sexy as fuck. Interesting character choice. <laughs> <laughs> That's cause science is sexy as fuck. Nit joked. Slowly slicking his hair back with his good hand before joining the others in <laughs> China. Good hand. What's wrong with Ned's other hand? Is it a, is it a hook? Is it a hook? Yeah. Wow, one of your hands is really sh. <laughs> Gritting his teeth, Ned threw the explosive past his friend. Ah! It sent Ned flying through the air like a bunch of drunk bowling pins. Okay, that's an interesting Imagery. metaphor. Imagery. Zach! 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 Keith cried, looking half out of his mind. Zach's body was stretched across the floor where piles of drywall dust covered him. Not knowing what else to do, Eugene drew back his hand and slapped Zach across the face. Oh! Okay. Bad kitty. Don't hurt daddy. Zach murmured sleepily, finally blinking his eyes open to stare up at his friend's worried faces. What's wrong with you two, he questioned, innocently, not noticing the march of soldiers' footsteps closing in. RUN! Ned yelled. She's gonna blow! And Bam! Scene. Wow. You put all caps, you get all caps. That's some good drama. That was drama. All right, now imagine an action movie with us, too. Yeah. Do you guys think there's a fan fiction out there about Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli being in a poly relationship? Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm trying to think of jokes for Lord of the Rings right now. <laughs> like, I will take the <laughs> ring to Mordor, <laughs> but I do not know the way. I'm no, but no, right Keith, here. you're Gandalf, remember? You're a wizard. Do not Aragorn. think me a conjurer of cheap tricks like sex tricks. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, read that one. Man. That's a good one. Right, guys, I think we're actually accidentally starting to create our own fan fiction. Toss me. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a line from the movie. You can use your own imagination about what that means, but it's just a good line. <laughs> the promotion. Okay. So the Eugene and Keith story called The Promotion. And I'll read for Ariel. Yeah. Ariel's in it for some reason. Oh my god. Eugene. 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 You are way too excited about being shipped with Keith and not at all about being shipped who with does, Who doesn't want to be shipped with Keith? Yeah, duh. Keith could handle me in a relationship. I just, I, I'm, I, it's hard to not be offended by this fictional scenario. Keith? No, that's me. Is it? Yeah. There, yeah you, do you why know? would you say your, why would you say your own name? name. Why would your that's eyes... totally canon. I yeah. did, well, okay. Keith? My eyes shot up. Yeah? Sorry to interrupt your deep ponder, but Mr. Lee Yang will see you now. Ariel chuckled. Also, this is like a Fifty Shades of Grey reference. How do you know so much about Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> I think it's He's a read it. very fun franchise. This isn't a joke, Ariel. What if I get fired? 
Ariel shook her head. Keith, you are the best employee here by far. I made my way to Mr. Douchebag's office. <laughs> <laughs> Since I had become closer to Ned and Zach, my other co-workers, Eugene had begun to see me as a threat rather than one of his employees. I knocked on the door gently. A deep voice erupted from the opposite side of the door. Come in. My Yi Lang, <laughs> hold on. My Li Yang called out almost irritated. My Li Yang. It says. It says. <laughs> my Li Yang. No, I think no, it's my, a typo. It's not a typo. I gulped and opened the door. Uh, good evening, sir. Jesus, calm yourself. You look like a cat that was drenched in the Arctic Ocean. Yeah, what does know. that look like, Keith? <laughs> Yeah, I'm super attracted to that. Yeah. Eugene spat. I nodded my head and took a seat. Do you know I asked for you, Keith? No, sir. His eyes took me up and down. Keith, you are different than the other employees. I'm giving you a promotion. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what position? I stuttered, flabbergasted. My personal assistant. He licked his lips. Wow. Are we finally getting to sandwiches? Yeah! Without a warning of any sort, he pressed ripped my sandwich out from my pocket. Gentle nibbles at first, but vigorously eating very soon. I told myself to pull away. I was engaged for Christ's sakes, <laughs> but that sandwich looked delicious. M <laughs> Mr. Lee! Shut the hell up. He barked huskily. Call me daddy. <laughs> he smirked before going down on to get. Another sandwich. Another sandwich? Wow. You have two sandwiches. Wow. wow. Oh, I need to take a cold shower after that. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what really happened. Yeah. Seems like without any warning, he just started sucking my <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, you gotta stop. And then he was like, then he started sucking my other <laughs> It seems like he sucked oh, both boy. of my that's why I gave you promotion. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> You're different than the other <laughs> <laughs> nice. You know what I learned today, guys? Huh. By reading all this fan fiction that we replaced with sandwiches, we, in our own way, wrote our own fan fiction. Wow. Well, how about that? So here's the deal. That's where the stories end. But where they go next is up to you. Continue the Try Guys fan fiction by writing us in various scenarios with sandwiches. And we'll keep this going. Oh, we'll send this us fun. to space. We could go to space. What, what would it be like if we went to Mars? I don't know. Maybe you know. But we make sandwiches on there. We can make sandwiches yeah. on Mars. We can work in a subway on Mars. I will take the ring to Mordor, though I do not know the way. You have my sword and my bow. I'm a wizard! <laughs> <laughs> he does not think he says anything. <laughs> no. Toss me. <laughs>